This is the moment a salvo of Iranian-fired missiles descends on Israel. Around 180 ballistic missiles were launched, with Israel saying it intercepted many of them. But some pierce the country's highly advanced air defense systems, like this one seen exploding near the Mossad headquarters, and others seen hitting the ground at an Israeli airbase. The attacks raised fears that another Iranian assault could inflict major destruction. Now the US says it's stepping in to bolster Israel's defenses with a billion dollar THAAD and troops to operate it. Air defense experts say the arrival of the interceptor system will significantly aid Tel Aviv in repelling future strikes. Here's how. The THAAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, is a ground-based air defense system designed to shoot down ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal spoke to analysts from think tanks RUSI and CSIS to understand how the system works. The THAAD typically consists of six truck-mounted launchers containing eight interceptors each, a transportable radar and a fire control unit. It needs nearly 100 soldiers to operate it. It's been deployed to Israel to strengthen Tel Aviv's already advanced multi-layered air defense capability, which includes the Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Arrow systems. These defenses, in conjunction with efforts from Israel's allies, were able to fend off an Iranian barrage of missiles and drones in April. But Iran's attack in October, one of the largest such strikes in the history of warfare, overwhelmed the systems in some places. Analysts say that's largely due to the speed of the projectiles, most of which were Iran's most modern ballistic missiles. Essentially, the faster the missile, the harder it is to intercept. Iranian missiles have to travel about 550 miles to reach Israel and have so far proved to be relatively inaccurate at such long ranges. If Israel is targeted again with more accurate and fast-moving projectiles, the THAAD could help to intercept them. That's because as well as new missile launchers, the system includes sensors needed to track incoming attacks. Analysts say its radar operates at a higher frequency than the system typically used with Israel's Arrow 3. This means the THAAD will increase Israel's ability to cross-check incoming targets for both tracking and targeting. Weapons experts say additional radars are important when defending against barrages of missiles like Iran's October attack. The THAAD, with a top range of 124 miles, will be integrated into Israel's current air defense system. By comparison, Israel's Iron Dome can intercept slower and smaller targets, such as drones and rockets, and has a range of around 43 miles. David's sling can reach up to 186 miles and is able to intercept large rockets and short-range ballistic missiles. And Arrow 3, Israel's most advanced system, has a top range of over 1,000 miles. The THAAD defends against ballistic threats by operating at a high altitude. It can intercept projectiles up to 93 miles high and can operate both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. This means the THAAD has more time to strike incoming projectiles and launch a secondary interceptor if needed. Israel's Arrow 3, which operates in a similar way, can reach up to a height of 62 miles. But despite the Arrow system's ability to intercept ballistic missiles, some still landed within the Nevatim Air Base's perimeter in October. It's unclear how many were deliberately ignored, as Israel doesn't typically target projectiles headed for empty areas. That's largely due to the cost of intercepting them. Each arrow interception costs a few million dollars, according to the maker of the system. While the US's THAAD also comes with a heavy price tag, with an estimated cost of $10 million per interceptor. Despite its cost, analysts say the THAAD has another key advantage its interoperability with Israel's current defenses. The system has previously been deployed in Israel during a US-Israeli military exercise. And now US soldiers are set to help operate the system inside Israel, this time during a combat situation. Analysts say this is a significant move as it puts American service members at risk of future potential strikes from Iran. But at the same time, could 
also deter future Iranian strikes as Israel becomes more difficult to penetrate.